Hello, everyone. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't put uh, video on this uh, recording because I'm on an old uh, desktop and doesn't have enough RAM uh, to uh, actually handle the video. But uh, now I'm sure uh, you're all sick of seeing my ugly mug anyway. So, um, you know, gives you a little little break from, from seeing my face uh, for the next uh, half an hour or so. But anyway, so what I want to do now is go over a very sh a relatively short um, uh, lecture on liability matching. And what I want to do first is really just go over some confusing uh, notation uh, that appears often on exam FM. I actually remember I took my uh, exam FM in June uh, of this year, 2023. I at least got two or three of these liability matching problems, and they're really pretty easy. So, um, yeah, so easy points on exam FM, in my opinion, uh, as long as you understand what they're asking. So a quick bit of uh, review. So, um, and implicitly, we've done problems where the kind of involving some of the confusing notational discuss in a second. So remember, uh, maybe a um, few uh, lectures ago, we talked about bonds. And in particular, we priced uh, these two bonds, assuming that we have a face value of $100, okay? So how did we uh, do that? Well, uh, let's go to uh, paint here. So I'll focus on the 30-year bond. <clears throat> okay. So everything is nominal, semi-annual, unless otherwise stated. So my yield rate, my actual six-month yield rate, uh, divide uh, by two. So we have uh, 0 0.0322. Over two, and that is point zero one six one two. Again, this is my actual six month yield rate. Uh, so the six month coupon rate. I just take uh, point zero three one two five. Divide by two point oh one five uh six two five. Okay. So we priced um we priced uh this bond assuming a one hundred dollar face value. And I'll be a little more clear what I mean or what this even means, like price per $100 in a moment. Okay. So let's just assume uh, we have a you know, $100 face value. So that means coupons, uh, as always, is 100, your face value, times your actual six-month uh, coupon rate. And times a hundred, uh, one point five six two five. Okay. All right, so that means we have the following um, time diagram. Okay. So uh, these are my six month coupons every six months for sixty six month periods. I get $100 back at the end. So um, the actual yield rate is 1.612%. Um, so something like that. So yeah, I just wrote that up here. All right, so remember that means I'm going to price this time diagram using this uh, yield rate of 1.612%. So the price 
It's just I have the 60 coupon payments. Take the present value of that. Discount 100 by 60 six-month periods at 1.612% per six-month period to get a price of $98 and roughly 11 cents, which matches exactly what is here. Okay. So just a quick review uh, of you know, how this works if the face value was $100. So really, in real life, how does this work? Uh, the way it works is you uh, buy uh, units of a certain bond. You buy the, a certain amount or certain units of a bond, okay? And what does this mean? That means when you buy, let's say, X units of this bond and you have a given face value, and in this case, uh, it's a little unclear maybe, but a hundred rather is kind of the given face value. Um, that means your actual face value is just X times F, whatever the given F is. And that kind of makes sense. If you have like a bond with face value a thousand, maybe you buy three of it, then it's like, you know, Really, you're getting a bond with three times a thousand, three thousand face value. If you have a, a bond that's, let's say again, thousand dollar face value, let's say you buy half of that, that kind of makes sense that your actual face value would be half of a thousand is 500. Okay. So, for example, in this 30 year bond, if you bought instead of, uh, uh, so what we did here, I should say, is, um, buying one unit of this bond, okay? So instead, let's say we bought 2.5 units of this bond, okay? So what does this mean? This means we have the same uh, coupon rate, the same yield rate, right? So um, let me just do uh, anything new here. So go down here a second. All right, so uh, yeah, remember coupon rate, the actual six month coupon rate, uh, we got to be, uh, I forget what it is, one second, 0.03125 over 0 Okay, so for what I'm purchasing, my actual face value for the purposes of bond calculations is 2.5 times 100, rather, so 250. All right, so coupons are uh, 0.01. Five six two five times two fifty, and what is that? Three point nine zero six two five. Okay, so I'm going to draw a time diagram first. So these are my actual coupons, and I'm getting two fifty back at the end after six sixty six month periods. So I'm just just to fit it, I rounded uh, the two point the I rounded to three point nine oh six three. Okay. So this is my time diagram. Again, this is my yield rate of one point six one two percent for six months. Right. So the price. So this is my time diagram. Uh, I get two fifty back. At maturity after 30 years or 66 month periods. And these are my coupons at the end of each six month period. So the price is going to be just take the present value of my coupon payments at the yield rate and then discount the 250 by 66 month periods. So the price is going to be 245.26. Okay. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I'll do more examples of this, uh, but all right. So yeah, so let's talk about liability matching. This is very straightforward. Um, 
if you have assets and you have liabilities, you just simply match your liabilities by your assets when the assets mature and when you have liabilities due. Okay. Um, that doesn't make sense. I'll do examples uh, where this is going to be very, very clear. This is really, um, really pretty easy stuff uh, as long as you just kind of just take a take it slowly and think about it. Don't rush these problems. All right. So uh, one second. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to do two problems. Uh, I will do. 51 and 53. Let me do 51 first. Okay, so um, yeah, these are, I would say, maybe just getting through reading all of this in a quick amount of time is maybe the hardest part of doing these problems on exam FM. But all right, Joe must pay liabilities of a thousand due six months from now and another thousand due one year from now. There are two available investments, a six month bond with face amount of a thousand, same thing as face value, 8% nominal semi-annual coupon rate and 6% nominal semi-annual uh, yield rate. So it's not specifying coupons or semi-annual, but unless otherwise stated, they are. So they are. Okay. That's a little weird for bond one, uh, because it is a six-month bond, but I'll explain why that actually kind of is okay. It's not anything too weird. Bond two is a one-year bond, face amount thousand, five percent nominal semi-annual coupon rate, seven percent nominal semi-annual yield rate. Calculate the amount of each bond that Joe should purchase to exactly match the liability. So we know what that means, what the amount of each bond means. Okay, we just did an example to illustrate that. So let's let's do this. Uh, let's do this problem. Okay, and also for bond two, unless remember, unless otherwise stated, all bonds give you semi-annual coupons. There's nothing to tell you otherwise, so you have semi-annual coupons. All right, so I say a sure way to do these problems, and it's not any. And it's still pretty efficient. It's just to write the time diagram for all the assets you're given and then start matching liabilities. Okay. All right. So let's say, so I have two assets, the bond one and bond two. Let's say X equals um, the amount or the number, uh, the amount of each, sorry, the amount of bond one bought. Uh, And let's say y is the amount Sorry about that. Okay, so let's do a uh, bond one first. And yeah, bond one is so simple that it might be a little confusing but that's why I'm going to do it. Okay. So this is in six months. So zero. Um, so yeah, I'll do it in six months. Or if you want to just leave this months, that's fine. Uh, whatever. Okay. This is usually what we've been doing for spawn, so stick to this. All right, so the way this works is, um, so remember that this is a face amount of a thousand. So the actual face value for bond one is a thousand X, uh, not a hundred, a thousand. Okay. This is still a coupon bond, okay? So maybe, let me move this over a bit. Sorry about that. 
Okay, the coupon rate is 8% nominal semi-annual. So I'm gonna divide that by two to give me my actual coupon rate. Okay, so 0 0.04 times your actual face amount. So maybe I'll just, um, our actual face value. So I'll write that actual face value is a thousand X coupons are my actual face value, uh, rather divide 0 0.08 by two to get my actual six month coupon rate times thousand X. Okay. So this is my actual face value for this, this bond, and this is my actual six month coupon rate. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, that is uh, what bond one does. So again, it's weird because uh, it's it's a regular coupon bond, but it only gives you one coupon, but that's okay. It, it, you can buy a bond that only gives you one coupon. Only gives you one coupon, but still gives you your face, actual face value uh, at maturity. Okay, so let's do uh, bond two now. So this is a one year bond, so two six month periods. Okay, uh, so. Yeah, so it's also a thousand bond. So uh, the again the actual face value is a thousand Y. So I get a thousand Y back at maturity. Um, yeah, so coupons are, uh, it's 5% nominal semi-annual. So the actual six month coupon rate is 2.5%. Went 0.05 over two, 1,000Y. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is kind of annoying to write, so. Um, well, I'll just write it, uh, and then I'll simplify this in a second. Uh, actually, this is kind of annoying to write. So, yeah. Uh, so, 0. 0.04 times a uh, thousand. So this whole thing here, uh, it's weird. 1040x. Uh, so I'll just do 0. 0.025 times 1,000, 120 zeros. So this is 25y. Uh, okay. Green here. Okay, now we can begin to match uh, liabilities. So um, we only have one asset to pay off the 1,000 due in one year. And that is, uh, sorry. that is this right here. I have to use this to pay off to pay this off one year liability. Okay. 
because I have nothing else to pay it off. This ends after six months. So I literally have nothing else to pay off the one year liability. Okay, so what does that mean? And I'll do this in green to emphasize I'm working with the one year liability. So this adds up to 1,025Y. So 1,025Y. Uh, so... Second, better. So this has to be a thousand. So uh, this is simply a uh, thousand over ten point five point nine seven. Hopefully this is, uh, uh, let's just do 0.97561. Okay. okay, so we're in good shape. Bond to those three answers that have this answer. Uh, oops, sorry. This one, A, D, and E have bond two. You're going to purchase... Uh, an amount of 0. 0.97561 of bond two. Okay. So one thing that's kind of interesting and I want to make clear here is you actually don't need the yield rates to do this problem because um, we're not asking for uh, prices here. This problem does not ask for price. So you don't need the yield rate. Okay. I will actually get the price though because uh, I would like to, add, I will ask the price on the homework, but in this problem, you don't. It's not asking you for the price. So if you're not being asked the price, you don't need the yield rate. Okay, so, um, so let's, uh, yeah. So what does this mean then? So let me, uh, maybe. Uh, so let me do in, uh, I guess, red, the six month liability here. So we have two assets to pay off the six month liability. We have the 1040X, that's what we have after one after uh, six months. And we have the coupon from bond two, 25 times Y. Uh, and what's that? 24.39. So uh, let me make this a little bigger. All right, so yeah, I'll use uh, blue for the first bond. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense to use green for the first year liability since I have to use the second bond to entirely pay it off. Uh, but um, anyway. Okay, so uh, right, uh, 1040X plus 25Y uh, plus 24.39. Um, do that in black that. I uh, remember 25 Y is 24.39, uh, 39024. Okay. That has to be uh, a thousand. All right. Uh, I guess I can make this red here. Not that it matters, but uh, all right. So yeah, let's just solve for x. Uh, so take this thousand minus this. 
as always, I like to put a minus sign in front of things. Um, and then divide by 1040. I hope we get the right answer. So, um, um, right. So X is, uh, what is X? 0 0.93809. Uh, circle these because these are your actual final answers. So, um, so the answer is D. X was the amount of bond Y I purchased. That's 9.93809. Well, now it is. And Y is the amount of bond uh, 2. 0.97561. Okay. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, let me uh, at least just get the price of bond uh, 2. Yeah, and the problem is not asking you for it, but I will ask you for it. So, so I think the easiest thing to do is actually draw a time diagram with numbers. Uh, Remember the six month periods. Okay, so um, yeah, this is so. Remember, we I mean, you can actually just literally do ten twenty five times point nine seven five six one, and you'll get like nine 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 point nine nine nine. I think. Um, but remember, this was we. This has to be a thousand. So, um, so really, you can just plop in a thousand. But if you just want to plug and chug, you know, if you want to plug and chug, let's actually do that. Maybe it's a little clearer. Um, but we picked Y so that bond two gives you at at one year exactly a thousand. So, um, so it's ten twenty five. Thousand y plus twenty five, a thousand plus twenty five, ten twenty five times y, point nine seven five six one. Um, okay, sorry. So it's a thousand and uh, a lot of three zeros. So I'll just make it just even rounding, just round to a thousand, make life a little easier. And uh, remember the coupon twenty five y. I'll just do that again. Twenty four point three nine zero two five. So um, yeah, so just to make clear, all I'm doing is I'm taking this dot time diagram right here and plopping in uh, y. So I'm just plopping in for y here and plopping in for y here to give me actual numbers for what this bond is doing. So as always, the price is just the present value. It's time diagram. So if I did ask you for the price, just take the present value uh, of this time diagram, or this cash flow, rather. Uh, and what is the yield rate um, for bond two? 7% nominal, semi-annual. So divide by two. 0.035, it's 0.07 over two. And this you discount by uh, two years. And you do this, you're going to get um, 1,640 uh, and 26 cents. Uh, actually, sorry, 
don't think that's right. So let me just uh, do this real quick. Times 1.035 minus 1 plus 1,000 times 1 1.035 to the minus 2. Yeah, 957. Point um, uh, nine five seven eight cents. Okay, that is a price. Um, that is a price of uh, Bantu. Yeah, well, I was reading off sixteen forty twenty six is actually uh, the next problem. So that okay. Um, so uh, yeah, maybe a little. I don't know if it's a little quicker problem, but it throws in uh, forward rates into the mix is the following. Oops. Get through it. So you have liabilities of a thousand uh, due now and two thousand due three years from now. You can pay this off with the one year zero coupon bond. That matures for a thousand, so the face value is a thousand. Yield rate is six percent per year, and you have a two year zero coupon bond, base amount of a thousand, seven percent yield rate. So this is per year, so this is one of these otherwise stated. Okay, okay uh, the two year forward rate, one year, the one year forward rate two years from now is six and a half percent. Um, so you buy amounts of each bond. You reinvest the proceeds from bond two into a one year zero coupon bond that earns this forward rate. So doing that calculate the total purchase price of bond one and two to exactly match the liability. So basically, you have this two year zero coupon bond, and it sits in account for one year additional for a total of three years. And that one year interest rate from t equals two to t equals three is 6.5%. That's all we're really saying here. Okay, so um, yeah, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to find out how much of each uh, bond Joe buys and then calculate the price. So Basically the same as before, just like in the last example, I took the extra step uh, because I will ask you this in the homework on what the price of the amount of bond two you purchased. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna we're gonna first find the actual amount of bond one and two that is purchased, then figure out the price. These are zero coupon bonds, so this will definitely be a little uh, quicker, right? Uh, so again, let's say X is the amount of bond one and Y is the amount of bond two purchased. I'm not gonna rewrite it, but X and Y are the same thing. Okay. This is in years. So the face amount given for bond one and two is a thousand. So this is a zero coupon bond, no coupons. So my actual face value for bond one is a thousand. Okay. Um, now I could solve for X right now, but um, I'll do the same thing like I did before just uh, write the time diagrams of both bonds. So again, this is in years, or year, three. All right, so it's a two year zero coupon bond, again, I'm gonna let Y be the amount of bond two that I purchased. X is the amount of bond one that I purchased, just like the previous example. 
So uh, I purchase, so it's a zero uh, coupon bond, same face value of a thousand. So it's, uh, I get a thousand Y at T equals two, but that sits in an account earning 6.5% per year. So it's gonna be a thousand Y One point oh six five. So that is uh, thousand sixty five. Uh, why? Uh, yeah. So it doesn't really matter what I do first. Solve for y or solve for x. Um, let's do the, so let's do the, uh, year three liability first, cause I'm right here. All right. So the only thing I'm getting in as an asset is 1065Y at T equals three. So I need to use that to pay off 2,000 liability in three years at T equals three. So really not much to that. Uh, right here. 1065 Y is 2,000. Um, so let's take um thousand over and sixty five uh to get y is one eight uh sorry eight seventy seven nine three um I'll do this in blue. So really, I mean, not, not there's no simplifying here. So I'll just circle it. So year one liability, uh, a thousand X equals, uh, so this is kind of almost, I don't say silly, but so a thousand X, I need that to pay off 1,000 at t equals 1. So this equals 1,000. So sorry, well, I was there quickly. Oh, I was there, the PDF quickly. So it says it's 1,000 do now. Uh, again, based on these time diagrams, I only have 1,000x at t equals 1. I only have... 1065y at t equals three. So these have to match to pay off your liabilities. All right. So we're almost done. Now I just got to get the price. Um, so I guess I'll do that. Um, Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is just uh so I'll uh I'll just redraw it. It's easier just to do that. Yeah. So uh x is uh one, so it's a thousand. So we just discount a thousand by one year at uh six percent annual. Uh so a thousand. Yeah, we're almost done, thankfully. We want to go to lunch. Uh so it's nine four three uh forty cents. 
make this a tiny bit bigger. Uh, bond two is just as easy. So they actually do get a lot of zero coupon bond. Uh, So what I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to draw it. I'm not going to include T equals three, like this 1065 here. That's because because the, the, they actually get the purchasing price. And maybe this is a little confusing. They actually get the purchase price. This is what the bond gives me at T equals two. We're going to purchase it by discounting this by two years. The bond purchaser doesn't care what the hell I do with the bond. Um, to price the bond, you're just simply discounting what the bond gives me um, for two years. Okay? Again, the bond seller that sells the bond to me doesn't care what I do with the bond for one year. That's irrelevant to the price of the bond. So this is... Uh, 1060. Uh, so 1000Y is going to be 187793. Just take take this number here times 1000. Uh, 1877. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got it. I can squeeze it in here. So the price is, I discount this by two uh, years. Uh, what is the yield rate? It's 7% for bond two. Uh, sorry, this is 0.93 here. Uh, discount it by two years at 7%. Ten sixty four. Uh, sorry, sixteen forty twenty six. So we just add the two prices. That's the total amount I'm gonna have to pay to match the liabilities when they're due by purchasing bond one and bond two. So take this plus nine four three. 40, uh, 258366. Uh, 258366. Uh, well, round to nearest integer. That's 2584. So, uh, around the nearest, um, dollar. So the answer is A. Okay. So, um, yeah, and of course, because we have zero coupon bonds, we don't have a coupon rate. So that's why it doesn't tell us, doesn't give us the coupon rate. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I really tried to do these in detail because they're easy once you understand what they're asking and how to do them. But um, I tried to go slowly to explain like exactly what they are trying to tell you. So, um, all right. Well, so long. Take care. Goodbye. And if you're in my summer 2023 class, this is the last topic we'll be tested on. So, uh, so we're done. Yay. All right. Uh, take care. Uh, bye bye.